So guys, here we are, and let's go and jump into this iron brand profile. All right, here we go, mango. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to Slash Hub, and I'm just gonna go to Jamie and grab myself a broke sword. What? Yes, I have a mana. Oh, farewell. Second thing I'm gonna do is just go and kill a couple of zombies. You. Um, and I'm just gonna level up my combat a bit. Alright, so I've got combat one acquired, and let's head over to the spider's den. My plan here is I'm first gonna talk to the grandma wolf and on the beast tree, then I'm gonna grab some relics. Just grab a couple of points. Uh, I've got grandma wolf, and it should give me a bit of extra health, and the combo is always gonna be. Alright, let's go. Yes, I would like your relics. Alright. So I found the first relic and a nice 10k coins. So my work here now is done. No trouble. Now the second thing I'm gonna do is with these 10k coins I'm gonna buy myself an axe and I'm gonna go do some foraging. Strength and level up my oak collection. Go buy a rookie axe. Oh no, it's a promising axe I want. Yeah, sorry. Oops. Now I want to get foraging, decent amount of foraging, gives me some strength. I want to get my oak collection up so I can get soldiers from it. But I also want to go to the park, because then I can unlock the hunter knife. Which is would be just a big upgrade to my which gives me good speed. Alright, that is Foraging 7 complete, and I've got a couple of stacks of oak wood. It's gonna be good for my minions. Now I'm gonna go off to the park. Now I could go and mine some birch trees or like stuff like that, but I'm not really too bothered about collections, so I'm more or less just done about getting this hunter knife but yeah all right we're in the first wood race i only have to do this in two minutes so it's not really like a big deal As you can see, we finished it in a little over one minute. But we're gonna try and go and get this one minute. Let's go under one minute, and this should be mean. Sorry, that we get the hunter knife, which is gonna be quite an upgrade from this red sword. A bit more speed as well. Always a good thing. As usual, we're now gonna go to slash hub, everything. Now, 
we are actually going to go on to some mining. Okay, let me just slash up again. Wait, no, that doesn't. And. And. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to grab myself a pickaxe. This is going to. I'm just going to get in deep caverns and then speed run to the uh, golden mines. Uh, a rookie pickaxe will do for now, 12 coins. I'm just going to do mining pull and just level up our skills. Let's go. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is go speak to the... Actually, I'm going to speak to this guy because he's rusty. I can use it. A hunter knife. I'm not gonna put on these things. I'm gonna get to the lazy miner. Grab his pickaxe. Sir. All right, so we're just gonna go back up. Here we can't actually mine. And that is us getting access to the deep caverns. So we are just gonna head off right now and grind out these ores. That's the wrong one. And off we go. Now there is a strategy which I think you like jump down here or something. Alright, that's fine. What did we get to Diamond Reserve? I don't think we got to Obsidian Sanctuary, but that's okay. Um, we still need some mine. We need gold, or iron, but we could use a bit more cobble and... Okay. This is always a really good spot for mining stuff. So, I should... I, after I go in here, I should be able to... Travel down to the diamond reserve, which should speed up the process a little bit. I could go and kill some lapis zombies or something. Here. I need six. Ultimately, we're just going to try and get enough resources. Open my. So this means that can we? Do we still have to go to the pigment mines? Basically? Oh, that's very good. Okay, we can travel straight to the miners reserve. Okay, we do get one shot by these things, which is probably not a good thing. But, you know, we're just gonna have to live with it. Live with it. Okay, so PvP, PvP. And we're just gonna have to try and get to the dozens again. We have real problem. I'm hoping that this is the way to the obsidian. I just want to make it there and just see what we have to actually get. Yeah, this is it. Um, I'm just going to try and make it to the hub before I die. I don't know why I'm killing him. Okay, I'm not, I, I don't really care. Um, so now we have the obsidian sanctuary unlocked, which means we can now go down and see what we need to open mines. So I'm just going to talk a reason. What do I need? So I think firstly mining 12. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I've need mining 12, but I'm nearly 100 percent sure I also need to get a lot of other ores as well. So I've just looked at it and I need 10 enchanted ores of any type I want. So, so we have got enough lapis and we are just gonna go down to redstone pigment stand, sorry. I think that should be enough. 
Yeah, that's probably good. Alright, so I've finished my mining and I'm gonna go back. Oh, I forgot I can't use Finished my mining and I'm just gonna go back and place down my minions. Before, I didn't actually um, get enough wood to unlock the small storage recipe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get working on our minions. And with that, my minions are now done, and these will permanently be making resources and money for me. And by the time of the next episode, I'll be able to go to the Dwarven Mines. If you enjoyed, then please leave a like, and see you in the next episode.